Hey YouTube and greetings fellow Liberty trike lovers. Hey today I'm going to make some adjustments because in this uh, trike it developed a clickety clack that I couldn't tell whether it was from the uh, bearings or from the gears down here with a little bit of diagnostics I figured out the bearings are good. It's clickety clacketing from that secondary chain and sprocket and then it developed in mine after about 10 miles of riding. Only when you're using the motor does it make that clack and clack. So come along with me as I adjust both of these trikes and see if I can get rid of the little clickety clack noise that could get worse and cause problems later. Okay, so before I begin, let me explain what's happening here, and you can almost see it from this angle. Uh, there are two things in play here. One is that this axle needs to be pretty much absolutely parallel with this axle. So if you try to adjust this chain and make it tilt this way, if you make it come this way, then it's going to tighten this chain up, but then it's going to cause this sprocket to be cockeyed. But if you look at the sprocket, the way that the teeth are coming in here, they are at riding on this edge. You want them to be dead center, but because it's riding on this edge and as tight as it is, it's binding. So this is not a good situation. I'm gonna show you how to adjust for this and hopefully this will get rid of the clickety clack that I'm hearing. I first heard the clickety clack on uh, my wife's bike it was this wheel on the left side that was actually quite loose so let me show you how you adjust for that this comes off real easy just pry it with a screwdriver it's just the cover to make it look pretty and then you want to take a socket when you go to tighten this you want to check that you haven't over tightened it if you have you can back it off a little by over tightening I mean so to check for the amount of pressure on your axle you can tilt the bike up it's not heavy and then spin it if it spins freely like that you're in good shape once you have it up in the air you can also grab it and push it back and forth and it should not wobble as it did on my wife's bike but these are good and snug so I need to interject here that although the clickety clack started on its own from the factory after some adjustments I lost parallel and was not paying attention to what I was doing so therefore I had to do this adjustment that I'm going to show you now that I feel is the proper way to set the gears the sprockets and the axles to adjust this rear axle I'm going to need and then lastly, to loosen the sprocket, you need a uh, Allen this size. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is loosen this up so that I got some play here. And so I'm going to adjust it and make sure that this is parallel first, and then I'll adjust the sprocket up in front. You can see it pushing right here. It's going left up here. So. This is not exactly aligned. So first thing I got to do is go parallel. Let's take a look at how bad it is out. So if I come up in here and do that to, it's uh, almost at a quarter, just under a quarter of an inch, three and less than a quarter. Coming over to this side, at it is almost at three and a half, just under a half. So it's a quarter inch off. So that means that this side is a quarter inch back this way than from this side. So it's not riding parallel for number one. Let's adjust that. Okay, this is a very soft nut. So you wanna make sure whatever size you put on there fits right. 10 millimeters fits like that. That will strip that nut. So I need to get something tighter. Okay, nine mil, 
Too small. Let's go American, shall we? Three eighths. Fits like a glove. All right, 15 mil. Fits on there, perfect. So I'm gonna loosen both sides. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Felt like it had about 20, 30 foot pounds on it. Now we're loose. Now what we can do is these adjusters can be loosened as well. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. And I'm doing this one because this is the side that needs to go in to begin with. Almost finger tight now. So this chain is really loose and this one here is loose. So let's see how close we are. I can see that it's still off. Nine. A little more than a quarter. Three and a quarter. So it's still got to go this way. So I'm going to pull this one back. This one is loose. Now I should be able to shift it like that just by pulling this one back. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm tightening. About half a turn. Now what you want to be careful is, is this chain is going to get tight on you before you before you know it. You don't want to bear down on that chain too hard. This is not necessarily three eighths. As you can see, I still have a lot of play in here and a ton of play in here. So once I get it even, then I can come back the same amount of turns. Okay, just like that, this chain got really tight on me. Our measurement is a little over a quarter and a little over a quarter. So I now have this just about perfectly parallel. All right, I now have these two snug down and I use these adjusters to adjust it. And some play in this is okay. It's a, it's a bit more than I would care for, but this one here is the one that will define where this one goes, especially if you want this to be parallel to that, which I do. So now to explain, I have two gears that should sit like this and one of them is a little bit off to the right. So I'm gonna move that front sprocket over to the left some so that these teeth sit right in the center. So if I lift the right side and rotate the wheel just a little bit, okay, so here's where that Allen wrench comes in handy because as you can see, it looks perfectly straight, but these teeth are not exactly center. So I'm going to move this bracket over ever so slightly just to get a little bit more of these teeth in the center. So you come in here like so, and righty tighty, lefty loosey. One thing you got to be careful of once this thing is loose, this thing can slide pretty easy. And that's all that it takes. I can see it moving ever so slightly. That looks good and straight. I'm going to give that a shot. Tighten it up. You want to make sure this is good and snug or this thing will shift around on you. All right, that feels good and snug. It looks good and straight. Let's go see if it makes any noise.
Well, it sounds good and quiet as I pedal, but let's try it with the motor. Stop pedaling and floor it. It sounds better. I don't hear it. Let's review. Tools. A wrench with a 15 mil for the sprocket. An Allen wrench to loosen the sprocket. And then a socket to, for the adjusters. And a ruler to make sure that the axle is straight. The Liberty Trike is great. I don't think I'd buy anything else or recommend anything else. But I can recommend one thing here, that as I made these adjustments, I couldn't help but think that uh, the way that you adjust for the uh, straightness of this is fine, but for the tension on this one, does not allow you to keep that thing, that axle parallel with this axle and make this one any tighter than that. So I would weld right here maybe, a little tensioner that was adjustable, it's out of the way, and it wouldn't be a big deal to add one right there. So what I set out to do was to get rid of the noise, the clickety-clack that was happening, and I figured out that it was not the bearings. I figured out that it was this sprocket alignment right here. So after that little bit of work that I did, hey, if Mighty Mouse can do it, you can do it. This is another job well done by the Mighty Mouse. Thanks for watching.